touched on a lot of the issues in the world. And for example, I wrote this thing down about Libya, and um, Workers World Party was one of the um, groups that opposed any kind of action against Libya from the start. We thought the no-fly zone was, a, was, gonna be a, was an act of war, and it turned out that, that it was. Um, but uh, the thing that U.S. imperialism in particular, and imperialism in general, does when they have a target that they want to strike, and I mean, when I say that, I mean the country. What they do is they demonize either an individual or, or a group within that country, a ruling group or a religion within the country or something. And they get the U.S. population on board that way because we don't do a lot of research. <laughs> General, we don't do a lot of research. We accept stuff. Yeah. We accept all this nonsense that we hear. And from, from all these you know, talking heads on television, for example. And we heard about how terrible Libya was, right? Um, there's just one little thing I want to say about Libya. If you're a Libyan citizen, or not now, if you were a Libyan citizen a couple of years ago, you had free education in any university if you qualified. Uh, you know, but if Libya did not provide the service that you need, because they, they weren't as developed as, say, the West, Libya, this is what they did with their oil money, this money that the, the press basically talked about as if it's Qaddafi's money, right? And they do that. If you were a student and you graduated from, your, yeah, you got your master's at some school, and triple, and now you want to do a, something, in, and, and it's only offered at Stanford University in California. If you apply for a reason, you can get it to come here. Libya would pay for your school at Stanford, and they would give you an allowance for you to take your whole family and live in, Cal in, 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 in Palo Alto, a very posh area, it's not cheap, until you finished your education. And you know what most Libyans did after they did that? They went back home with these skills and they built Libya. Mm -hmm. Libya, I said I was going to do one thing, but I didn't get my <laughs> <laughs> Libya was behind, I um, was spearheading a bank, an independent bank to counter the, uh, the abuses of the World Bank and the IMF to lend money to African countries to help them develop. That was, it was going to be a, an African, it was going to be a Libyan bank, but they were going to put the most of the money in. Um, and, 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 and this is the, the person that we were told who was, I don't have to repeat what was said. And I think, for example, go on the internet and look at that last press conference that Hillary Clinton did two days before he was killed. Yeah. She used the term capture or kill, but that was important to kill. Mm -hmm. The U.S. military has taken this new tactic. They're not, they don't want to take prisoners of people who can expose them. I think that's why Osama bin Laden, no matter what you think of him, was, was killed the way he was. He could have been captured. Mm -hmm. um, the United States was, uh, the, 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 the embarrassment didn't go very far, but some of us know about it. In 1999, the United States attacked Yugoslavia, based on also some demonization of lies. Um, there are a couple of books you can look at to, to, to get the flavor of this. Um, Liar's Poker is one, I forget the name of the author, and a book called Hidden Agenda. And that deals with the background. But I think a really important book, now Milosevic, Samuel Milosevic was the leader, was eventually um, uh, arrested and held at the um, World Criminal Court. And his trial had actually started. And the only thing I think that happened was the opening remarks. If he really died in prison, there might have been some funny things that went on. Maybe, maybe even, you know, something. He was really sick, so he might have died from that. But there were some accusations and then some sort But the thing that's important, I think, there's a little pamphlet called The Defense Speaks, which is just the opening remarks that he gave in his defense. Incredible. And it exposed a lot about how the West and the imperialist powers forming war. And they didn't want that. They don't want that happening. So they're going to be a lot of. You saw what happened to um, 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 Saddam Hussein. That was a, that was a, that was really cool. And they made sure that was done public. They wanted people to see that. And the U.S. was behind that. Sovereignty is only important as far as the, 
sovereignty only is only deserved by the the, 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 um, the big players as far as they're concerned. If you're a small country, and especially one that uh, is trying to be independent of them, your sovereignty, your sovereignty just ain't anything. They will violate it in any kind of way. I mean, a no-fly zone is a, it sounds like it sounds innocuous. Right? That means bombarding the country with uh, planes and making sure. And, and, and it's not just bombard. It's not just trying to fly around and make sure nobody comes above the ground. It destroyed everything on the ground that can fly. That, that's how they see a no-fly zone. A no-fly zone is blowing up the military of the country. You know, um, uh, the, the U.S. There, there, the U.S. military is always a war, even if there's not a hot, and there's lots of hot wars going on now. But um, embargoes are war. When you stop a country from being able to feed its people, that's war. You know. When you prevent them from getting medicines, that's war. After the uh, after the assault in Iraq, um, they they weren't allowed in all kinds of things. People died from preventable diseases. I some of them that could have been um, cured with like little plastic tubes, which was some some machine might need it, but they couldn't get it because lead pencils and things like that weren't allowed in the country because it, it was just ridiculous. Like what 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 the imperialists will do to get you know to to the levels of of suffering, they purposely caused. There was even a document um, by uh, I think a think tank in the in the United States about what would happen in Iraq if they attacked certain kinds of facilities, which is what they did when 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 the war in Iraq started. The U.S. bombed electrical plants, sewage treatment plants, uh, water treatment plants, all of these things, and it, it caused exactly what the study had said. It's going to create cholera all over. You know, so those diseases were part of the war. Those were accidental things after the war. That was intended. It was intended to make the population suffer. So the so it's not just the people who get killed by the bombs that are casualties of the war. I mean, that's easy to understand. We have to convince you of that. But it was also very, very intentional. The the raiding of the um, the libraries in Iraq was intentional. The only thing that was protected was um, oil industry. And um, uh, uh, just a couple of, you know, where, 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 the, where the money is, uh, museums, and, and there were meetings in imperialist countries before the war of people from, from museums here and how, where all this good antiquity stuff is. So all that theft was also planned, maybe not all of it, there was a lot of destruction, really, a lot of destruction to, in the libraries, but there was also a lot of planned theft. You know, some of the trash, some of the things that happened at the little site, you know, we talk about it. When, when we talk, we talk in general terms a lot. But when you look at some of the actual specific deeds that have been committed, you know, the depravity of, 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 of capitalism is, is depravity is a strong word. <laughs> you know, it's sickening, man. Um, so I think I'm, 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 in a, I'm in a lot of different directions. Here, so I'm gonna stop.